Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the fixed end moments in this fixed beam using column analogy method. In this beam we have two loads, one point load 12 kN in the center and then we have uniformly distributed load 4 kN per meter. It is acting for the whole span. The length of the beam is 6 meter. We know that in this beam the degree of static indeterminacy is true. To make this beam statically determinate, let us remove MA and MB. When we remove both of them, this fixed beam will become a simply supported beam. You can see that I have converted the fixed beam into a simply supported beam. In this beam, let us find the vertical reactions RA and RB. We know that in this beam, the loading is symmetrical. So, we can easily find the vertical reactions. For that, we have to find the total load and then divide that by 2. Here, there are two loads. The point load 12 kN and the uniformly distributed load 4. Let us add both of them. We have to multiply the UDL with the distance 6. Then we have to divide this by 2. When we do that, we are getting RA and RB which is 18 kN. Now let us find the bending moment in the point C that is the center. I am going to find it from the point A. In this case, we are moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. Finally, we are getting 36 kN meter. Now, for the simply supported beam, let us draw the bending moment diagram. We know that in the simply supported ends, the bending moment is 0. We have found the bending moment in the point C, that is 36. Since there is uniformly distributed load for the full span, the bending moment diagram will be in the parabolic shape. Now we have to find the area of this diagram. We know that here we have point load and uniformly distributed load. So it is difficult to find the area by using formula. In this case, we can do integrations and find the area. We have to make sections in this beam. In this beam, there are two different parts, AC and CB. So we have to make two sections, one in AC and one in CB. We know that in this beam, we have symmetrical loading. So when we make the integrations in both of the sections, we will get the same value. In this case, we can make any one of the section and multiply the integration by 2. You can see that I have made only one section. I have made the section in AC, but we have to multiply the integration with 2. I have made the section at a distance of x from the point A. Now let us find the bending moment about the section from the point A. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x so 18x. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL we have to multiply with the distance and the distance by 2. 4 upon 2 we will get 2. x into x we will get x square. Now let us do the integration. For the integration, the limit is 0 to 3. Now we can take a calculator and do this integration. If you do not know how to do integration in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. We can do the integration manually also, but it will take more time. We can use this formula and do the integration. When we integrate x, we will get x square upon 2. 
when we integrate x square we will get x cube upon 3 then we can apply the limits no need to apply the lower limit because it is 0 when we apply that we will get a 0 only so only apply the upper limit 3 finally for the area we are getting 126 now let us make the analogous column in the analogous column we have to find the resultant p p is the area of the bending moment diagram just before we have calculated that is 126 now let us find the cross sectional area of the analogous column we know that it is 1 into 6 so we will get 6 we know the formula to find the stress at the base of the analogous column P upon A plus or minus P E X A upon I Y. We know that the bending moment diagram was symmetrical. So the resultant P will be acting in the center. In this case the eccentricity E will be 0. So in the formula the second term will be eliminated. So for MIA and MIB we will get the same value. We have calculated P and A. Let us apply both of them. So for MIA and MIB, we are getting 21. We have found the MIA and the MIB. Now let us find the MSA and the MSB. For that, we have to look at the bending moment diagram. In the point A, the bending moment is 0. So MSA will be 0. In the point B also, the bending moment is 0, so MSB also will be 0. Let us find the MA. The formula is MSA minus MIA. Let us apply both of them. Finally, for MA, we will get minus 21 kN meter. In the similar way, we can find MB, which is also minus 21 kN meter. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video